Hi, my name's Father Peter from the Diocese of Wagga Wagga and I'd like to share with you today a couple of incidences from my own life that made me more aware of life beyond death or another dimension, if you like, to the reality of this world, the invisible world, in fact. And one was when I was a little boy in primary school that we were growing up and uh, we were living in rented accommodation in Melbourne and moving from house to house in flats. And I remember in one particular flat, often enough, strangely, in the morning or in the middle of the night, I'd be woken up with a feeling of a chill or a cold sensation, even a touch to the face of like an airy feeling, but then looking and seeing that the window was closed and didn't know where this cold chill was coming from, this air. But then one night I woke up in the middle of the night and was making my way to the bathroom because, uh, well, I had even in fact a, a blood nose for some reason. And then I saw in, in the lounge room, which was shrouded in darkness, but just a little bit of light, a figure of a person in one corner. I couldn't recognize the face. I couldn't see the face, but I knew it was a person. A presence was there, but yet it was strange presence that wasn't almost physical. And then I, when I turned the light, that presence in that corner of the room just totally disappeared. And not long after that, I heard the story that uh, in that flat, some man had committed suicide. So this was the first encounter with a uh, kind of a reality of life beyond death that made me realize that there is a bigger picture to things. And the second one was when I was more uh, in my teenage years was one of those, as it were, uh, tunnel of darkness experiences with a light at the end of the tunnel that I'll never forget. And though you hear many stories about this, I actually experienced it. And I remember in that experience being in a tunnel, shrouded in darkness, but seeing a light at the end of it and being pulled back in the darkness like in a rip, but also encountering temptations and in a, in a struggle feeling a bit helpless. But then I saw some image of, as it were, scales, which today I feel I like to think was a symbol of St. Michael the Archangel and that somehow then the tur tide turned that I was being drawn into the light. And when I eventually found myself in the light, I felt an experience of ecstasy and joy and peace that just absolutely enwrapped me and embraced me in this warm light that I couldn't almost distinguish myself from the light. I was so one with the light. And I'll never forget waking up from that and saying to myself, if you remember just this one thing, that the enjoyment in that light is worth more than all the pleasures of this world put together. That's what I took from that experience and I can never forget, but it's something to think about 